Hello everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Michael. Today, we're gonna try and beat uh, this boss, which I'm gonna be honest, I, I suck at fighting this boss. In my honest opinion, I, I think this boss is Huddle the Millennium for me. I, I honestly. I honestly just suck at fighting this dude. I, I, I don't know why evil, because I've seen quite a few people fight him. They don't suck at fighting him. When I fight him, I just suck. Oh, that damage. I do want to do this though, since. Oh, to do that. Jesus. Oh well. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Okay, let's just go fight the boss. Would worry about the souls, but nah, I won't do the the cheese strat. Unless I like struggle with them a lot, then I'll do the cheese strat. But nah, not right now. You should look very familiar. Dearest Nicola. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest. To the birthplace of our dynasty. Yep, your old, your old mom, Lord of Blood, the son said the omen.
full boss. Spot the heal up. I was actually doing incredibly well there. And I'm shocked I was doing that well. Usually I do not do that well while fighting this boss. Yeah. During his second phase transition though, you can use yeah, this. So when he does the Nail move it doesn't take as much health away from you and I don't think he heals as much either. I would use it but I, I want to fight the boss like for real fight him because this is a cool boss I like this boss We're going to beat him this ring because, like I said, I suck at fighting him. Especially during the second phase. I do not have much practice on the second phase. I do want to try, though. I know he's highly resistant to fire, right? So, Blasphemous Blade probably isn't the best to use for him. So, I want to switch to this. Because I know we do a bit more damage. Hopefully.
I want to put the inseparable sword on my right hand, my main hand, so I can use its whatnot, because the whatnot does buff my weapons. And we're doing battle damage there, so yeah. His second phase though is crazy. Because his force phase, when I force farm, I never actually managed to get to a second phase. Because I had a bleed build. Granted, okay, don't get mad at me because I was using a bleed build on my false playthrough. I didn't know it was really powerful. I did not know it was a powerful build. I just used the weapon I thought was fun, and that was the Bloodhound thing. What's up? This. It's a very false, like, boss weapon I really got, so I wanted to use it, and it was really, it was a really fun weapon, so I used it. Don't get mad at me for using it. It was a fun weapon to use. that can actually hit you. Yeah, one problem I have with this boss is his attacks or attacks I like to call fast delayed attacks. Where they're fast, but at the same time they're delayed. about the explosion. See, he's kind of like Millennia with the second phase. Where well, Millennia's first phase has a lot of the same moves from her second phase. But, also I do want to switch this back. Uh, just because I was doing more damage. I think when I hit him, I don't know. But, during the second phase, he carries moves from his false phase, but they have additional attacks with them. Which is one thing I always mess up on. It's one thing that I'm not good at with Millennia during the whole second phase. I've gotten better at it, but I'm so used to doing their false phases that I forget about the additional attacks, like the explosion. Millennia whole combos become a lot more fierce during the whole second phase. Same here. They become crazy bosses. Now, it would buff, but you can't exactly buff during this transition. That's like a dodge move. Second. 
dodging that. I need to get better at dodging too. I have one more. Because I'm pretty sure. Oh no. I want to try something real quick. There. No, I don't think it does. I don't think it has the. Uh, of the solution of the track. This range is also unbelievable. I saw a really funny comment about this boss, saying that he just during his second phase, you it's he basically enables a the floor's lava, which is true. Okay, I want to see. Would this do more damage in total? Might be better with fighting. I don't know which one's better though. The ridiculous flame.
does. <laughs> as clear as day. Okay. Feel really concentrate on that one. Okay. That wasn't as bad actually as I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Okay. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. Okay, maybe I'm better at fighting him than I thought. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna hire up mine to 40 and go on to 40. Yeah, I know a lot of people for DLC want more... want something to be going. Because there's a what's it? Olinia's is it all? Reverence it said it. Okay, maybe it was the sword I think that said it. That he's actually the strongest of all Empyreans. So, I'm interested to see what that means. So I want, I want DLC for it. Sold this order. Was it the bomb that said it? Yeah, there it is. My brother will keep his prom. He possesses the wisdom, the allure of a god. He is the most fearsome appearing of all. No, actually, a uh, rare and gloves. Oops. They work pretty well with the song. And I'm using the song because the armor looks really good with the blasphemous blade. And this is golden and red. So, I think that's actually all the grave rooms. Yeah. Yeah, in order to activate his great room, he's actually twins. I believe he's a uh, the twin of Morgoth. So a pretty nice wall. They're both on the east. Nice.
can go back to the round table, of course. Dude, that only took us not even 40 minutes. I thought this boss was actually gonna take us like six hours to beat. I am shocked. Well, uh, you. What is it? Ah, I see you've laid your hands on the other secret medallion. I'm glad to see my council has borne fruit. But the honor of the deed is yours alone. You've made more of yourself than Ensha has. Now, more importantly, both secret medallions are in your hands. I suppose you'd like to know then. What awaits you on the path ahead? Me too, my friend. Me too. I wait with bated breath. Two very difficult bosses. There are four more demigods yet to be located. Nicola of the Halig Tree. The Unalloyed. His twin, Melania. We don't know him. You found Nicola. Luna Princess Rani, daughter to Renala. We don't we did her quest. The one only known. As the Lord of Blood, that was Mark, who we killed. said to have cast aside her great rune. So here at the hold, we seek the whereabouts of the remaining three shard bearers. If you should learn anything of these matters, I'll trade your findings for a hidden treasure or a long lost rite known only to me. We both desire to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. As such, I hope we are compelled to work together. Yeah, that uh, egg thing with the um, just Mikola. And I'm not too sure about the lore between Mikola and Mog. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. But I'm pretty sure Mog kidnapped Mikola and wanted to become. What did Mikkel become a god? I'm not too sure about that, though, but I'm pretty sure that is the law between them. Ah, so the secret medallions led you to the land of the Halig Tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away completely, but with the Halig Tree as it is, I suppose Nicola must already be. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Nice. So, the Haley tree. Now but a husk. I heard speculation Mikola embedded himself in the Haley tree. But before he could finish, someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed, it seems those words held weight. How vexing that the all-knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. Okay. What he just said about that. There is a, in Millennium's boss room, there is a, it's like at the bottom of the hallowed tree, and there is a face in the tree. So what he just said, I'm guessing that that was Nicola, and before he could finish... Mog took him because, as he just said, Mikola's infant form. Because Mikola, Mikola cannot grow old. Mikola, 
is a child and will forever stay a child. That is a course that Nicola has. Millennia's course was that she is, she has been coursed with the Scarlet Wrath. And if from her flower, the Aeoni, I believe that's how you say it, if it blooms three times, she would become a true goddess. And I'm pretty sure you can see all three of those times. Because the first time it blooms, where it's when she was fighting Radan. And in the middle of that swamp, I believe that's the, that is the flower from when she was fighting Radan, since that is called like, like the Swamp of Aeoni or some, some shit like that. The second time is right outside of boss room, where you get to Traveler's Outfit. There, you see that flower there and there's a lot of butterflies around it, but you can't interact with it at all. The full time is when you fight her, and during that cutscene, the flower blooms, and that's why her name changes to the god M Millennia Goddess Ron instead of Millennia Blade of Mikula. Once again, not 100% sure if that is true, just what I'm theorizing. Oh, so that's where the so-called Lord of Blood was hiding himself, eh? A fitting little squat for that deluded maniac to bleat about the revival of his precious dynasty while he turns our fellow tarnished into bloody fingers. Let him stay there. That way, his delusions will remain as they are, distant and unattainable. But perhaps it's worth looking into. If what I've heard is right, then maybe. Ah, the information no, I did you are a true fellow. That was cookbook three. Wonder well, what that does. Ah, uh, I see. So Nicola was with the Lord of Blood after all. That is some fine intelligence indeed. With it, the final clue has been brought into the light. One of the last few pieces the round table. I need to put everything together. As promised, allow me to impart to you the last of the secret rites known only to me. Nice. Well, casually. Well, what is it now? So, if we're thinking about this, there are still two great rooms that we have not found yet, right? Because he said Mikola had a great room, and Ronnie had a great room. Ronnie's great room, she, he said that Ronnie cast a great room aside. But how about Mikola's great room? We know nothing about that great room still. So. Could literally be anyone's guess about what's his room. Oh, that's uh, the branch. Wait, no, I'm thinking about the twig. It's to be witching branch. What did that do? Oh, wait, no, I think that I think the bewitching branch is like the uh, bloodborne item. So they won't attack you. The item I was thinking of. It's a. You hit them and they go crazy. I believe I bought everything from you already. Just want to make sure real quick. Since we are getting to the near the end game part, I mean we've been in the in game area, really late game, really not exactly in game. 
So, what were those spells? I believe it was just incantation that he gave us. Most divine force. Greatly increases. Holy damage. Negation for self and allies. Okay. Valuations upon receiving a number of blows. So this is like, um, if anyone rambles, uh, Climatic Justice, I believe, in Dark Souls 1, where after you take, like, five blows, I think, simultaneously, you explode. Doesn't, I don't think it deals any damage to you, but it deals a lot of damage to the people attacking you. physical damage mitigation. We still have to get these. Okay. So I do know where one of them. Right? I know where one of them is. Yeah. I don't think he gave us any. I'll check if he gave us any soul series. I don't think so. Yeah, no. Oh, wow, that's a lot more than that. And this one is. I thought there was three files. For this run, we're gonna try and complete the end, right? And I won't have a level cap. Usually, when I play from soft games, I don't level cap myself unless it's a PvP character. Like, and this, I'm working on a PvP character, I'm level capping him at 70, I believe. It's a good level. Scratch my eye. <laughs> Thought that was just death. <laughs> Hello. You, you should. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, there's one here. Don't really need to concentrate in this area. But wait, unless I don't think this is the one, at least. Might actually have to end up concentrating here. Because there is this one but I suck up. Probably full for else like a... Okay, yeah. So there is a part where I need to concentrate. Because as you see, down there, there's another path you need to take.
so and the area down there can be pretty tough. And I'm pretty good at these games. Mm, it's pretty tough for me. Yeah. There is one more boss in the game that might give me more trouble than more here. Well probably not. Maybe, I don't know. Could, could not. Everyone just have to see. Oh. I forgot about that. I hate the pivot. There's not a thing that kills me in this game more than a pivot. I don't know what I'm fighting those guys. Fire among the Astros. What they're never gonna use. So we're not, doing a, not using any Astros in this playthrough. Granted, I could use Astros, but. Uh, I think Astros are fun. It's fun to use ashes. In my opinion. And if you use ashes, don't think you're bad at the game because you have to use ashes. I mean, on my false playthrough, I had to use ashes. I'm still good at this game. Sometimes you just need a little help, and that's fine. There are some bosses that. <laughs> people need help fighting. Like, millennium. There are a lot of people that 
can't fight that boss. That's fine. That by far not an easy boss. I don't know a single person that can say that boss is easy. I mean, except like let me solo, let me solo. I say that boss is easy. Maybe like speed run or two. This place. This place gives me some trouble sometimes. And it's because of the jaws. Not these jaws. These jaws are easy, even the big jaws. Like I can deal with the big jaws. But not. Nah. Oh. These jaws. Upset about dying. I kind of wanted to die anyway, so I'd get my Estus back. It's fine. I run through these guys a lot. I'm pretty good at dodging them. <laughs> ah. Really want to get me. The exploding jaws. Uh, I hate those jaws. Jump attacks are still really strong. I don't know if they do less or more. I would imagine they do less damage. They didn't like Dark Souls, like, well, in Dark Souls, really. Because now that you can manually jump, just keep those punch attacks off. This area. Because if you have a bow, you just shoot them. But I'm not going to play the cowl twice. I'll rush in. I like playing these games. 
I like being aggressive. this game and I am actually shocked so we're pretty much already about to beat the game no shock there really I mean look how much of the map we explore there is no way they can be that much left I've only been playing for 52 hours usually when I beat the game I at least usually by this point I have at least 87 owls in the game. Maybe even in the 90s. I've been exploring so much. I tried not to um, skip over areas. Expect a fourth one. Okay. Yeah. We'll go here first. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, this you can see it's kinda like a loop. These rooms will be the exact same. Instead of small jaws, big jaws. Yeah. I don't get hit by him. Okay, no special here. Just a path that we've already been on. So now we can go here.
seven. Very careful for those guys. that other dude came from, but it doesn't matter. There's that little dungeon. Nothing too crazy here. Yeah, we need death. I don't remember if this was the last death we needed or if there was another one. And there's another one. I don't know where it is, but I think I could take a good guess of where it is. Maybe. Maybe not. But actually, there is a thing here. And it, it's because of this one. This is the one that made me good at fighting him. Because when I first fought him, I was way under level. And I didn't really have a good Ash summon to beat him. 
be like, I didn't have the nurture at all. I had the ancestral spirit. And he was really only like plus four. So he would die in like a few hits. And I couldn't get the time to summon him evil. So, I had to take it on myself to beat him. And he like one shot at me. So I had to spend, like, I think it took me two hours to beat him. But I beat him. And ever since then, I've always been good at fighting him. I remembered the moveset that he had. So I'm pretty good at dodging him. Yeah, this whole area. I went through this whole area way under leveled. And I didn't realize it until after I like beat the game. I didn't want to look up anything about Elden Ring until after I beat it. Oh, I have another one. Where does this other one come from? It is it is all consumed. We did it. Still I am not sated. Not nearly sated. Thanks for thy long labor. But I have done all I can in this land. Henceforth, mine appetite shall be my sole companion. Farewell. Nice. Ooh, got his beast claws. So instead of doing it just forward, it does it in all directions. Nice. Oh, there's his quest line. I think, is there any invaders or anything we really need to do before fight the next boss? Because we have. Max heals. Spell books. I don't think we got any spell books. Like the which time? There's one of them going for an hour. Okay. Let's do Selene's quest. Shall we commence the lesson? Yeah, I need to buy more spells. Bellows. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glimstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Blimstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glimstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume the thing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Okay. 
and let us join it together. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? With this Glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of Glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now. Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glimstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glimstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glimstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glimstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. Your appetite for learning is impressive. You make me proud to have grown little legs so readily. You must have a fabulous teacher. Okay. So, we kind of already know where he's going to be. We don't have to search for ages trying to find him. But, he's here. So, we can go fight the boss here, too. Which. I'm not very good at fighting this boss at all. I might die. But that's the joy of Souls games. You die, you try again, until you succeed or you give up. Granted, maybe I won't die because I might be a little too below for this boss. Since it's part of Kaelid, not the Dragon Girl, Bora. I think it's considered part of Caleb. Well, that's creepy. Huh? I've been through this area, I have no idea what's making that sound. Oh, that's what's making it. It's like fighting a worst portion of the game. It's like fighting a little bit on crack. Ludwig's a good boss. I like Ludwig. Ludwig. I don't remember how to pronounce his name. I'm gonna lost it far. Okay, I'm 
a high level for this area and you saw how much damage there were around it, so we're still doing it. No, no, we'll change more remnants. Uh, like, dogs? Fighting dogs in FromSoft games suck. Fighting the bulbs in this game suck. But I would rather fight them than have to fight a royal remnant. Just royal remnants? They're scary. But, they. Also, I'm not that fun to fight. It's so hard to hit them. I knew there was a snail there. I think that snail actually fell down there. Hello. I believe we actually saw that once in PvP. We were just stall shallow, but instead of like six stalls, it's twelve. I just gotta remember where to get to the boss room. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because there's the Marcus statue. Hopefully, we don't die to this boss because I have a lot of runes on me. It would suck to lose all of them. These are like the same types that we've seen at the power tree. It's not that hard anymore. <laughs> yeah, fighting that boss at the regular level that you're supposed to sucks if you don't have a strike weapon. My apprentice. Give me a moment later. 
I have a favor to ask. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere, but the Academy's shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the Lands Between, imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Who could have guessed? What a place to find Master Lusat. You have my gratitude. This is all your work. I am truly pleased to have you as an apprentice and a kindred spirit. This is a mere token of my thanks. Please take it. Nice. <laughs> That's not my job. This brings us a full step closer. The bodies of Masters, Azure, and Lusat can be admitted to the Academy. If only I could undo these wretched shackles. Okay. Yeah, we're already activated. Just yeah, so we used him to do. Dragon Soul, I believe. Try and get his stuff. I don't like that lag. I don't know why I'm going all over there. Stone. A star has fallen, and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life, and so I am trusted with you, myself. What ticket? Nice. I got my soul just in the neck. Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please treat it with care. Treat it what you hold. Is my very being. Okay. Yeah, we just have to take it. Here. If, if you remember, we saw a puppet version of one. And that's how we started. Uh. Celibus. Crossing. We kind of need to find where he keeps all his puppets. We have this lady. Think. 
but this is no, that isn't formal. That's a I don't know her name, but we have one. Yeah, Theolina. The draw right puppet. Dolores. One of the night maidens. You're sitting next to me. Yeah, only kill. We don't have an only kill puppet, but we do have a summon form. There's let me solo hole. Oh, wait, no, I think this is the lady. So that is a puff animal. Because we can't get a puff animal. Is that super narrow, dude? Yeah, we have to reload the area. You know, we'll need a very familiar NPC here. to see the champion of the festival here of all places you didn't know so whatever the case she's dead now Anybody. Ah, I hardly excuse you didn't. Well, just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch. Obsessed by the primeval current, countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Rhea Lacaria's academy. It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. A sickening thought. But one that won't stop gnawing at me. I suspect Selen I'm sure she a sickening. Okay. So now go here. My apprentice. Just how long has it been? Wait, Thank you. A few minutes. You've helped me fill a new body once again. And it's truly a gem. Young and full of vigor, a snug fit for my primal glimstone. Better still, I've shed those awful shackles. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel the Karian royal family and restore the primeval current. My dear apprentice, I owe this all to you. Finally, I can return to the academy to expel. Is there a change? My apprentice, shall we commence the lesson? As thanks for procuring this new form, I'll be holding you to a higher standard. Okay, no new stuff. 
granted everything that it does give me is kind of useless, I can't use any of it. Since it is all sorceries, and I don't have too much intelligence, since this is a faith build. Faith strength build. Granted, I will hire up Dex some, because this one does skill with Dex. To summon, to assist, summon to challenge. We're gonna assist both for this run. Just because you get, in my opinion, you get better loot. So more worth it for fashion sets. Bringer of my death. You have my In fact, I don't like going to I, I like him as a character. His story with Radon, it's a very sad one. It's a good one, though. But, get his armor. Ah, my apprentice. You've saved my skin once again. Do you see this? The Queen of Caria is no more. With the bodies of Masters Azure and Lusat returned, the Academy can hone the primeval current, so that we, fallen children of the stars, shall beam with brilliance once again. My apprentice, will you stay with us here at the Academy? Oh, I know it's not possible. You have your own calling to be the next Elden Lord. But do think of me, of your teacher. On the eve of your crowning, you will always be my darling pupil. Rest assured that I, no, the entire academy will swear allegiance to the new monarch, my apprentice. Become Elden Lord. Hmm. Perhaps I'm jumping ahead, but here is a symbol of my allegiance and the Academy's. Nice. Do you recall what once I told you? That glimstone is the amber of the cosmos, and sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. When you become Elden Lord, please illuminate me. Lay bare the secrets of life which course the Elden Ring. Next time, I will be your student. Oh, one last thing. If you fail to claim your throne, you can always pay me a visit. Oh, don't fret. Even my dullest pupils will always have a place here. Now we get short smile. What is it, my... So, yeah. I do wonder, though. What would happen if you do whole quest line before fighting this boss? Yeah, if you look here, it still says Renala here. So Renala's kind of dead. Or is she? Yeah, you, you kind of can't kill Renala, like ever. She's just kind of back. And if you look to the side, they're, they're so lean. She's a uh, this thing now. Uh, my uh, friend. I, uh. Yeah. You can kind of see her face right there. This might be the only one with that face, actually. I don't see the face anywhere else. So I think this is the only one. So this one is actually special. Okay. Yeah, well, for now that's still fine. 
after you complete whole quest, you can then go back to the soul scrolls. And get their own. So let's see if we all have to be pushed now. I think so. Yeah, I think they'll say it's gonna be on next be pushed. Friday is gonna be turn around. We go back. Now we're pretty close to beating this game. We might beat it before we get to episode forty. It really all depends how I'll do with the bosses. I mean, I could suck fighting the bosses and take us like another fifty streams to beat. I don't think so, but you know, you never know what could happen. Okay, we can go up there real quick. And final boss, okay. this boss is gonna be. Could be hard. Could be easy. I don't think it'd be easy, but I don't know. I didn't think Maul was gonna be easy and work out well we did fighting him. Must be night. Here, then teleport them. Oh yeah, I have to talk well, to this dude. Just in an age, how can I? The... Are safe? Okay. I feel like you actually need to talk to the people if they're in that area. I don't know why, but that is something you need to do.
just the way it talks. Yeah, I still suck at dodging delete attacks. Damage room. It's good. Switch. I did I not die there? He should have. I don't know why he did not. Okay. I need to get my ground. I need to get better old ground from fighting him. I got caught in the building. Everything went wrong at the halfway point. This is, I think this is the hardest spell bearing hunter in the game.
bike, not good. Can I just buy everything to Okay, no. Have a safe. Yeah, the hidden cave is talking about the hidden cave. Which... This is marked is because of we didn't really explore this area because this is not a fun area to explore really. I don't know why when I'm not just using Bloodhound stuff. Open arrow, open bell. Okay, sixty-two. If that doesn't tell you that this is an old game arrow, I don't know what will. Okay, it's all places all in Caleb. Caleb's. It's like only to mid game. Let's 
Scarlet Rod is a bit more dangerous, but... Got that one from uh, because we we need to get that iron for millennia. Probably didn't need it, but I wanted it before uh, fighting more. Well, when we will fight millennia, I wanted it just because I felt like it was gonna help quite a bit. And it did. A sleep cell, I believe. It's been a while since we entered Stormvale. Yeah, when I false mocked these, it was mainly because we didn't have too many keys at the time. Thank you all, man. I love you. Well, game crash. We, we like when the game crashes. changes for anything. And Steam finishes loading. Why does Elden Ring take so long to work? 
me so long to load on the computer. <laughs> Back in ordinary. But so far this character has been doing really good. Can't wait to start a new game plus with Roma. Okay, I'm here. We're going to Stormtail. Shot. Oh, this is, I think this is the one that's actually pretty good for us. They do so much poise damage. I don't even have that bad of a bad poise. Oh my, my poise actually—it's 50. Not that bad. Not fun. I have the God Soil playing. I'm gonna hire that up. Eventually, I will hire up all those foundation things. Because having them all hired up, I can just switch between them. And it will truly help me determine which one is the best. Because right now, this one's the best. But, also. Like one of the highest level ones. But if I upgrade all the other ones, then maybe this one won't be the best. After you uh, come here, you can go back here, get the Crimson Hood when, uh, What's her face? Rodrika, I think her name was. Goes to the round table hold. He kind of drops her hood off there. I'm guessing it's because well, those all home men. all the omens. Dude, it's flooded with omens. Dude, this area was pretty tough when we first went through it. Okay, the omens are not exactly the, easy, the easiest to minimize. It 
so satisfying getting enemies in a line like that and hitting them. I don't know if it's down or up. I'm gonna dust it down. to the left. Okay. okay, so no it wasn't here. Okay, so I should just continue this path then. Then I'll find it. Oh. Well. Okay, yeah, it wasn't even that far in. I think this was the very first thing that I've ever used. This wasn't the very first one I've used. This is the very first one my brother used, I believe. Actually, no, this might have been the first one I used. I think it was rather this one or this one. It was one of these two, but the very first one I have ever used. Not like it really matters, but it's a little bit of trivia. Point trivia? Not at all. run past enemies, get them all crowded behind you, and just wet the just use take this flame on them. How many do we have left? Two. Yeah, we're just gonna get these last two, then... No. if you stop throwing stuff at me. Yeah, 
the last one. Yeah. This is the same one on my main. It took me ages to remember that there was an um, underground map in this game. I don't know why I forgot it that one moment. But I just forgot until like 10 minutes ago. I was like, oh, yeah, there's an underground map. Take this magical time to tell you because I always forget. We have a group password. It's 2383. Reference to my YouTube channel. You guys see 2383. You should check it out. Um, any of my live streams from here on there. So if you want to see what I used to do for YouTube before I started streaming on Twitch and you can see my cringy little self, you can also go there. Have fun with that. Back when I thought this was gonna be easy, and it would take no effort to become Dr. Long Hill. And that was wrong. Okay, we'll get this way first. I do not survive that fall. Someone is special. I never noticed that before. That looks uh chill someone's face on her.
dropped anything. What a crap is down here. Gonna say something when well, I was collecting those gravel stones, but I forgot what well, I was gonna say. met this dude a while ago. <laughs> the, the giant jaw. guys oh um builds that people use to beat the knights of the draws you have to beat all of them so if we beat it then <laughs> see if you can see my almost set see my character no, no. Uh, no stretch. My hit rate was the blood. I ran out of stamina. I had to scratch my heel. It was bugging me too much. <laughs> Damn. Well, that's unfortunate. I wish there was a quick path there. Like a stick of bark or something. So you don't have to keep going all of this to see it there. Two golems. The golems look really good, by the way. Yeah. Try and fight this one. That was an old rose of blood, wasn't it? That fucking rose of blood.
My point's really that bad. My point's really that bad. Not bad. Uh -oh. Apparently my point's really... It's like really gonna help. Oh, this dude's about to have a crazy amount of boys. What the hell up? with a big giant swords is slow. Focus on this. No. The other one must focus on. Actually, I guess the next room we'll just continue on with the game. What questions is that? Just continue on with the game. Get folder in before we do PvP again. If we can't do an old PvP stream. Should be able to. Greetings. Do you need it? Oh, very well. Heresy. All thing. About that. Yeah. So we got grabby sounds. We got it. Do we have all these? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, nice. Six, five. Okay, we don't have all these ones. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
We have to build down near these. Nice. Yeah, well, getting really far into this game. Honestly, isn't too much left. I mean, we still got qu quite a bit of bosses we need to kill. So, we we'll do that on Friday. No, not Friday. Friday? Yeah, Friday. This tomorrow's gonna be the 24th stream. Yeah, Friday. We'll go back, finish the bosses on Friday. Then after that, I think next week, we'll beat the game. So maybe only next week, I think. And after that, we'll start playing like Risk, Risk of Rain 2, Risk, I, I'm gonna keep calling it Risk because what me and my friends call it. Risk of Rain 2, we'll play. I'll go back to stream some Dark Souls 1. I'll, I'll keep playing Elden Ring. Might stream some Minecraft. I don't know if I just stream Minecraft live. I think that's just something I should wait till I can edit it so you don't have to. So when I'm like wandering around in a cave in that game, you're not just watching me floating in doing nothing. So I can just cut that stuff out, all the boring parts. So yeah, we're really close to beating this game. We only got a few main bosses left. I think we have six, six main bosses before we fully beat Elden Ring. And then we'll go back, kill all the bosses that we skipped over get all the spells in the game everything that we missed after we do that we're going to new game plus try and get a different ending and all that excited for that uh, while we're doing that we'll play risk of rain 2 because I really enjoy risk of rain love that game the game's really fun me and my friends play it a lot So yeah, after that, uh, so I have to beat Dark Souls 1 and then we'll go to Dark Souls 2 and 3 and Bloodborne. So, yeah. That should be a nice few months worth of content. So yeah. Hopefully, we grow. throughout all that time. If we don't, that's fine. It's fine if we don't. I mean, I'll probably still keep streaming until I, I just run out of games I want to play. Because if I have no games that I think I should stream, you know, live, I have games I could just edit down, all the boring parts out. Just, there was definitely some boring parts in Elden Ring. Like me just running to areas. Me just fighting a boss the same over and over and over and over and over again. Nah, yeah, there's some boring moments. But I don't really have an editing platform right now, so I can edit the stuff down. 
So I kind of just put it the full live stream on YouTube. And just like, there we go. That should be good enough for now. Which it probably isn't. But. Alright. It's the best I can do right now with what I have. I mean, it's the same with the mic. My mic quality, I know it's not the best. I know it's not the best. But it's the best I can do as of right now. So, yeah. I could use my webcam, but... I was going to use my webcam for this stream, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in like New Game Plus Cycles. That's it for this stream. Don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. You guys know what time it is now. Good old raid time. We're talking about beating Elden Ring. This dude <laughs> might beat Elden Ring today. So, more female. I don't know, which one. But Skull Assassin 1. Let's go raid them. Since they might be Elden Ring, let's go cheer them on. And I wish them luck at beating the game. There we go. And I hope you guys have fun with this stream. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.